Welcome back to Gardening and Couponing with your girl Portia. As you can tell, today is going to be a garden video. So, roughly a year and a half ago, I came out and I landscaped it, my front yard. And I learned a couple of things about some other plants. I learned a couple of things about some of the plants that I planted but most importantly my son and my husband has allergies now what we in now the first week of April here in um, Central Florida and they just act like stepping out the house is killing them y'all oh it's the pollen it's the flowers it's the bees oh it's babies mondes so I decided to switch my front yard around. So some of these plants and flowers I'm going to keep. If you know me, you know I like to start small. So it's very, it was very exciting to see them grow. But I can't just pull them up and throw them away. So I'm going to try to find a spot in my garden for all of these babies and then I will show you some of the finished product I might be able to get it done today I may not but stay tuned so I have it planted up below here and it looked and it okay they're all dried out and dead I did water it when I planted them so I'm not sure what is going on. But as you can see, I just trimmed them back. Because they are perennial, so they should come back. I just trimmed them back. And then I dispose of the dead ones. So I'm going to move my hibiscus to the end of my sidewalk. Just dug the holes. Now I'm going to drop some fertilizer in there and water it real good. I know it's still going to be in shock, but I'm going to try to get it as comfortable as possible. So on my hibiscus, the roots look pretty good. I didn't do too much damage pulling it out. No bugs, no farm activities. No grubs. So let's hurry up and get her back into some soil. She's not dry either. She's quite wet. So the sun is coming out. And it could be a shock for me moving it. But I hope they bounce back. Once the sun go down, but these are my hibiscus. I totally forgot the name of the white flowers at the bottom, but they are perennials in my area. So those are my hibiscus. And again, I got them as you're walking up. I'm trying to show you. As you're walking up in my yard. I got them there. It's roughly about 11.30 right now. I think I did a pretty good job on the timing so far. Took a small break. So now I pulled everything up. I'm going to leave the two ground covers for now. Until I see what I, I'm going to do here. But I pulled everything up. That's my rose bush. Pulled those up. I might pull the other ones up on the side of it to give it a little space. But I don't want to pull too much up because I didn't buy all the plants that I needed. Because to be honest, I don't know what else I'm going to put here. But... I went ahead and got uh, 
these are called the Bird of Paradise Giant White. Research say they get very big, tall, and the flower looks like a bird, shaped like a bird. Um, so as you can tell, I got it as a baby, and even then it's $30. But I have two of these, and I'm going to put these in the center. And then I have two of these that I'm going to try to separate if I can to get my money's worth. Separate them and spread them out in the front yard. So let's see how that go. So I got two of these. And I just want to show you guys how many is in there. But you can also see it's pretty root bound. Sorry I can't show you guys the whole process of what I'm doing with my tripod because unfortunately my front yard gets no shade. So my phone and my iPad keep saying overheating. So when I'm ready I have to record. But I watered the sand off because you got to be very gentle. I'm trying my best not to disturb any of my roots. I got one apart, so I'm just going to tear these apart gently and hope that they survive. And then I'm going to go ahead and plant them where I want them at. I tried to get the plants that give me the most for my bucks. As you can tell, these things are $20. So I tried to pick the ones that didn't have too many flowers on them because I didn't want that. But one that had a lot of plants in it. Cause then I can separate them and put them where I want to put them at. So now that I have this one pretty much done, I'm going to let the water sit in here and try to help me break this down so I can go ahead and plant this other plant. That's a lot of soil. I probably should have did this somewhere else because I'm going to have soil all in my front yard. But... That's neither here or there. If you like the video so far, click like for me. And don't scroll up just yet. I'll show you the finished product. So cleaning up the front garden bed on the side of the house, look what I found in the dirt. I think they call him a snail. He's a big boy too just barely under the soil i found him so i haven't did the research yet to see how much damage they do i do know they do damage look at the slime that he leaves behind yeah that's so nasty but i do know they do damage to your um root crops like your cabbages and broccoli and your brassicas, I do know they do damage here, but in the front of my bed, I have nothing but flowers or I had um, perennial flowers. And this is where I found him at. So I dug around that area a little deeper, even a little, little bit in the front, and I haven't seen any more. So I know it probably is more, but I did get him. And when I was younger, my grandma used to tell us to post some salt on him to kill him. Well, that's what I'm going to do. Now, I'm not going to record. I'm not going to record his death at all. But I will show y'all how I just sprinkle just a little salt. And I'm going to leave him there. Okay. So, if you haven't already by now, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Shoot me a comment on what you think. But I think I did a good day's of work on this beautiful Sunday. So I got the two hibiscus going on here. Yeah, they look a little droopy. It's like 1 o'clock right now. It's so hot out here, I can't take it no more. I'm wrapping it up. Cleaned up my yard. I'm wrapping it up. I have to finish another time. But I cleaned up the yard. 
I laid the pavers down because once my grass grow back, you wouldn't see the dirty part of it. But that end over there, I need my husband help on because it looks like I'm going to have to dig a little. I don't have the energy to dig right now. So I'm going to lay it the way I want it to go and hoping he can finish it off for me. But I got my... Um, what are those birds of paradise this is my rose bush that was buried here because all the other plants grew taller than it so I see little buds coming out so she's coming along my elephant ear is here and I have um, dang I forgot the name of that plant it gets real big and leafy I got them from Home Depot at Bulbs and they're slowly popping out the ground but they spread so that's why I got them spread it out so eventually they'll fill in around my elephant ear here is my um, what is this the big white bird of paradise um, they say they spread so I don't think I'm gonna put anything behind here I want to try to keep this clean and stuff because if it spreads, it'll have room to spread and go up this wall right here. This is where I want it to do. And hopefully the leaves and stuff will shadow a little bit of my porch so I can block some sun. I left my ground covers down. They got like these pretty purple flowers. It is hot out here, y'all. Um, I'm not going to water them right now because I think I'll burn them because it is so hot. So... I have to wait till the sun go down later to water them, but they spread too because I got these when they were small and they spread. So I think I'm going to leave them down here because they're ground covers. I'm going to go get some more red mulch. I think I'm going to go back with red mulch. I like that look that the red mulch set, that set off. So this right here, what I have is the red rubber mulch and I think I'm going to keep that too. So. I got to go get a couple of bags of red rubber mulch. I'm going to cut her off. I, I was trying to get as many of them as possible that haven't flowered yet. So when it gets settled, they'll flower. But I'm going to cut her off and she'll hopefully continue blooming for me. I got the small solar spotlights before I had the big tall ones. And every time my kids walk into the house, they hit it. They bump it every morning. I literally have to keep putting it back in the ground. So let's see what this does for me. Got one over here. Now, I left that for one or two reasons. One, it was huge. It wouldn't let me pull it up. But I am going to trim it back. Two, I realized this is my mailbox. And when the mail lady or man come through, I mean, they have to put my mail in. I don't want it to be so difficult to where they can't even drop mail in my mailbox. So I wanted to move that so they can just walk up and just put it in there. But for now, I'm just going to leave it. I didn't want to fight with it to pull it up, but I am going to trim it back. Here's another um, big white uh, paradise. And again, I left the space because they said a paradise. So I don't know what they mean by spread, but if it does, I hope it's spread backwards and not forwards. <laughs> and then there's my other rose bush. I had this one maybe two months before I had the other one. So that's why this one is um, a little bigger. But again, it was covered with so many plants and stuff. I don't think it was getting a proper sun, as you could tell. The top part is nice and green, but if you look on the bottom, it's yellow. Like, it just wasn't getting enough sun or fertilizer. That could be it, too. My ground covers. My spotlight. Now, I don't know if I want to pull this plant or this one right now, but since it's not in my way as far as walking down the steps, it's not in my way. I can see what's going on in between. I left them. Now, when the bird of paradises get too big and I see what they're about, I might can pull them up and move them. But I wanted something here. 
So I left the ground covers and I left those two perennials there. So that is it for today. I am super tired. So now I'm gonna go and do mommy duty. Start cooking dinner, washing clothes, get the kids ready for school. Straighten up my house and do my little girl's hair. So once again, thanks for watching and hope to see y'all back on my next video with gardening and couponing with your girl Portia.